Hello, my lovely fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is Debs and this is your TGIF love reading for Friday, the 10th of February, 2023. Fire signs, I've just come out of a rather amusing vision. <laughs> Archangel Michael took me to some kind of game show. Um, there were three people who were trying to win a very big prize. I think it was a big check. It looked like it was 100,000. OK, um, it was almost like a, a Wheel of Fortune type of situation, but there were consolation prizes as well. One woman was really, really keen to win this money. She was very good. She answered all the questions, but she got the last one wrong. And so she was second place, not first. I saw this woman walk out of this auditorium what looked like an auditorium. And she received a phone call the minute she walked out. On the other end of the phone was somebody trying to placate her. I'm really sorry. So obviously this was some kind of live TV show. So they saw all this happening. And when she left this television studio or whatever this was, she got this call. Whoever was on the other end of the phone could have been a partner, best friend, whoever this was said, I'm so sorry, we were all gunning for you. We really thought that you'd win this big prize. And the woman surprisingly said to the person on the other end, well, actually, I think the consolation prize is going to be better for me because what would I do with this money? And the woman on the phone said, well, what do you mean? What was the consolation prize? And she said, well, it was a a two-week holiday to the Seychelles. She said, actually, I really need a holiday and it's probably the best thing that could have happened. Anyway, so these two had a really good laugh about it and she was fine after that. So, fire sign, there's going to be possibly a little bit of what you may feel is a disappointment. But what the divine wants you to know is that the consolation prize is going to be much more you. It's going to suit you better. If this is potentially a relationship that hasn't worked out, this is the divine putting somebody else on your path who's much more your sort of person. If this is you going for a job, it could well be that even though you don't get the top-notch job with the big salary... This is you being offered a slightly lower position, but there's less stress. There's less burden. Yes, you're earning a little bit less, but it may be that this is going to suit you at this particular time and you can always work your way up the company. So whatever this is for you, fire sign, what the divine is saying is there's going to be a consolation prize. And you may look back, not at the time that this all goes down, you're going to feel a bit disappointed. But when you look back, you're going to realise this was actually much more for you. It's going to suit you a lot better. OK, yeah, very interesting vision. OK, people, let's delve in. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF love reading for my fire signs. Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is Friday, the 10th of February, 2023. What do we have for my fire signs, please, Michael? Thank you. Friday, the 10th of February. Sorry, guys, I'm lost in channeling. I'm now seeing a, a big roulette wheel. A big roulette wheel. Somebody's playing. Somebody in Las Vegas? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this person has lost a small amount of money. They're wandering into a lounge. It's got um, velvet chairs and that's all, they're all quite smart. And he's walking over to talk to a woman with blonde curly hair with a martini glass and a cherry in it. I can see her distinctly. She's wearing a black dress and she's commiserating with him. She's saying it happens to the best of us. Yeah, it happened to me last year. OK, so maybe his consolation prize is meeting someone. <laughs> he may not have won on roulette, but he is meeting someone. Yeah. OK, very interesting. Thank you, Michael. Hmm. 
Okay, fire signs. Let's see what this consolation prize is for you guys. This is your energy. This is your person's energy. Hmm. Yeah. You're not going to feel as if you're happy about this when you are sitting in the place of disappointment, but later on, you're going to look back and realise best thing that could have happened. Okay. All right. Sacred Forest, Denise Lynn. Okay. Oh, top one. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Both. For my fire signs, please, Michael. And for my fire signs person. Okay. There we go, people. So my lovely fire signs, let's delve in. Let's have a look first of all at your energy. Oh, three of swords. So has this happened already? Did you not get what you wanted? Did somebody walk away from you? Did you not receive that great pay rise? Did you not get the job you wanted? You're sitting feeling a little bit sore about something. You're feeling a bit sore about something. Five of Cups. Yeah, you're looking back at the past, very disappointed that something didn't work out. I'm almost getting a lethargy. I'm going to say this carefully because it may only resonate with one, with one or two of you. But what I'm actually getting is a child who didn't get the candy. <laughs> okay. Now, guys, don't hate me. It may be something quite serious. But what I'm getting here is a little bit of I'm just feeling really sorry for myself because I really wanted that and I didn't get that. OK. You know, this is the equivalent of you not getting your pay rise and then storming out of the office and saying to your boss, right, that's it. I'm leaving the company. And then looking back, thinking that wasn't a good idea. Why did I do that? Right. I've now <laughs> lost my job because you didn't get your pay rise. There's a little bit of stamping the foot energy. I think you were just very, very disappointed, okay? Because you wanted the Ten of Cups. <laughs> For some of you, you wanted to be with someone. And this is somebody who pushed you away. For others of you, maybe you made a play for somebody else, but you were in a relationship with a karmic partner and this other person pushed you away and you wanted the candy. I wanted the candy. I wanted to be with that person. Hmm. Okay. Your person's energy. Two of cups. So we have someone here who is in love. Hierophant. Taurus energy. Five of swords. Yeah, I kind of thought I had to wait until that final card came out. So here we have someone very disappointed. I think you were hoping for a sign for a relationship to work out. You were dreaming of the Ten of Cups. Wow, this would have been amazing but met with disappointment. The Three of Swords could pertain to the fact that this person was actually in a relationship with somebody else. It may be you hoped that they would leave that person, that they would walk away, that they would ring you and say, I am getting out of this relationship. I really want to be with you. And they didn't. This is you feeling upset. We do have emotions running high, though, because you're very disappointed 
and feeling a bit heartbroken about this, I actually genuinely believe that this person rushed towards you, fire sign, wanting a little bit of fun with a five of swords, but then realised that they fell for you. And this was very difficult for this person to accept. And I know there's going to be a lot of comments. Well, they should have left their karmic. If they love me, they do this, that and the other. I think this person is sat in a lot of regret. Whoever this was rushed towards you, whether or not it was a one night stand, whether or not it was a six month affair, you were hoping that this was going to move into the Ten of Cups. This person ended up staying with the Hierophant, which is potentially marriage, long-term commitment, in a relationship with somebody else. What is interesting, and I want you to remember this, fire sign, is that they are just as heartbroken as you. And again, I don't want to hear the comments. Because they're sat in the Two of Cups. This is someone who rushed towards you, had a little bit of fun, however long it lasted, but couldn't or didn't want to face the chaos of leaving a long-term karmic partnership. But they fell in love with you. And they are heartbroken because they may feel stuck in a situation that they feel they cannot get out of or it's going to cost way too much money to disconnect from or it's an arranged marriage and their religion dictates that they cannot end this connection. Whatever this is for them, they fell in love with you. So they're sitting in heartbreak too. Just remember that. You, fire sign, have a consolation prize coming up. Okay? Yeah. Chaos. This is the tower storm spirit but ironically after everything dies down there's going to be balance four and a two is six that's balance so the divine is telling you yes you're feeling emotional yes you've had a tower moment yes you really wanted something to work out and it didn't but they're actually balancing out the situation for you they know how hurt you were. And I think your consolation prize is meeting somebody else. Let's have a look at this person's energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is someone who fell in love with you. Beauty. They could have been incredibly attracted to you. But this is someone who didn't have the right intentions. With the energy of bare spirit, they may have loved your mothering energy. They may have felt safe with you. They may have felt nurtured by you. But this is someone who's decided to heal and let go. Because with the number four, they decided to stay for stability in another relationship. But they are heartbroken, believe you me, because they are thinking about the two of cups. So it's this person's decision. Everyone has free will. They have decided to stay in another relationship. Light a pathway. Changes ahead. Yeah. So at the moment, you're sitting in the energy of the tower or it's just happened or it's about to. The divine is telling you, you're not always going to be sitting in the three of swords and the five of cups. Yes, there was a tower moment. Yes, it caused chaos in your life. You feel very upset. You were hoping for the ten of cups. But the divine had somebody else lined up for you. There's going to be a change ahead to balance the scales. Lighter pathway for this person. Yeah. They're heartbroken because they didn't expect to feel a very strong connection with you. And so they're sat feeling as if they've missed out on an amazing relationship. But they have made a decision to stay for stability. So guys, very simple reading. 
maybe a relatively short one for this week. Let's delve in and find out what's going on for you individually. Okay, here we go. We're starting off with Leo. Let's see what's going on for my beautiful Leo. So Leo, you have been heartbroken. Mm-hmm, yeah. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Leo, you're struggling letting go of a situation that you really hoped would work out. You've had to let go of that, of the hope of that, but you're struggling. Yeah, world in reverse. Leo, it might well be that there was just too much distance between you and someone else for this to be practical. It may well be that this is you looking at the upset of realising someone was not going to end another situation to be with you. It could be this person simply has just disconnected. But this was painful. This was painful, Leo. Very difficult. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Again, no communication, Leo. This person may have lied initially, suggesting they were single when they weren't, and you later found out they had a wife sat at home, or they had a baby mama, or they were living with somebody that they weren't that interested in anymore. So this is you feeling disgruntled and upset. No communication. Possibly this person lied to you. They could have been an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. With the Tower card, potentially Aries, Scorpio. But this is you just feeling upset. You don't quite know what to do. Five of Cups. This is you believing all is lost. That was my one chance for happiness. That was my person. But you're not seeing the two cups behind you, Leo. What is going to happen here? The Hermit in the reverse. You want to come out of feeling on your own. Now, for some of you, you could be connecting in the future with a Virgo. For others of you, Leo, it may well be that this is you simply deciding that you need to put this in the past and move forward. You're feeling isolated, you're feeling on your own, you're feeling really down. This is you knowing that you need to pick yourself up, but it's a struggle. It's not easy, not easy. The star in the reverse. So Leo, you may have had to let go of an Aquarius or you may have had to let go of what you believed was your wish come true. You've been struggling to heal from this. You've been struggling. What's going to happen here for my beautiful Leos? Queen of Swords. For some of you, the Queen of Swords could be you wanting communication from this person, wanting to know why they may have made you feel as if this was going to be a relationship when it wasn't. It's pushed you into the Queen of Swords energy, Leo. This is you guarded, nervous. You're upset. You're upset. Temperance. You could be upset about a Sagittarius. But this is the Angel of Balance coming in, trying to calm your energy. They don't want you to sit in the Queen of Swords. It's a harsh energy for you, Leo. Yeah. Eight of Wands in reverse. No communication, nothing, radio silence. And you're upset. What is Leo realising here? Okay, the Hierophant. That this person, Leo, if you didn't know, is married and is going to stay married. For others of you, there's no communication from a Taurus and you're upset. What's Leo realising? Yeah, look at that. Six of Pentacles in the reverse, that this person did just breadcrumb you. Okay, horrible expression, but there we have it. The Six of Pentacles for me can sometimes be, as you know, dividing up the money. And this is you realising they're going to stay married, they're not going to divorce. And this is you upset. This is you upset. 
For some of you, with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, again, duplicate message, they are not detaching from another person. Or this is someone, Leo, who might have lied to you. I mean, this is a blatant lie. This is I'm single, or they behaved as if they were single when they were actually married. Yeah, oh, you can't make this up. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who lied, suggesting or stating blatantly that they were single when they were actually in a long-term relationship. Yeah. Leo, thank goodness. Seven of Wands in reverse. You're fed up with being defensive and angry. And I think you're just letting this go. I think you're just letting it go. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Two of Swords, whether or not you blocked them or they blocked you. I think you're pushing down your emotions and I think you're deciding just to try and move on. Difficult, but I think you're doing it. Yeah. Nine of Cups in reverse. This is someone who really just wanted to have some fun. You were happy together at the time, but this person was not in a place that they were able to step up and offer you commitment. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Leo, you are going to pull yourself up out of this. It's not going to be easy, but you're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. The Judgment card in reverse and the Empress in the reverse. This may be you feeling as if you made a really bad judgment call because this person was embroiled with a karmic partner. There may have been indications of this, Leo, but maybe you didn't want to accept it. Maybe you pushed that thought away. Maybe you decided to stay wearing rose-tinted glasses. For some of you, yeah, you possibly did have an idea that they weren't single. What else do we have for my beautiful Leos, Michael? Page of Cups. You may find this person comes back to you to apologise, but it will just be closure. Leo, don't get your hopes up. It could be that this person has a child and they couldn't leave because they have a child or children. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Be careful, Leo. They want to come out of feeling a bit disconnected from you, but they're not going to leave their karmic partner. Yeah. Yeah, whatever they say, Leo, be careful because this person will turn their back on you because they're protecting their finances. That's for some of you. All right, what is Leo's consolation prize? It's a secret. <laughs> Leo, that's no help, is it? Well, your consolation prize could be that you're going to be meeting a Pisces. What's going to happen for Leo? Two of Wands in the reverse. Leo, what the Divine is saying is move down this new path. Just move forward. Put one foot in front of the other and just shift forward. Because with a Ten of Cups, you have someone new coming in who may well be much more aligned with you, your life. Much more the sort of person that you could build a long-term connection with. Six of Wands. There will be victory and success, Leo. This could be someone connected to your work. Wow. What else do we have here for Leo? Somebody may also be opening up to you, Leo. King of Wands. Could be you, as in you're opening up to somebody new. If you're a masculine Leo, you could be opening up to a Pisces or a fellow Leo. Or 
If you're a feminine Leo, you could be meeting your true counterpart who's coming through as the King of Wands in the upright, acting with integrity. Wow, Knight of Cups. Very romantic, this person. Could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio who's a little bit younger. Possibly a Cancerian with a chariot. This is someone who is a bit nervous in moving towards you, but they want to. So maybe they see, Leo, that you're sat feeling a bit heartbroken and they want to take you out of that energy. Who is this person for my lovely Leos? Seven of Cups in reverse. You're going to find out soon who this person is. You're going to come out of confusion. I'm hearing it's all going to make sense. This is somebody you may have had one date with a long time ago and they've never forgotten you. Wow, Leo. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Could be a slightly younger Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. Or this is someone who is seriously ready to commit. Who is this person? The Divine isn't going to give us an accurate idea of who this is, but it could be for lots of people, so I'm not surprised. Again, we have Cancerian energy, though, or with the Moon in reverse, everything's going to be revealed at the right time, okay? Everything's going to be revealed at the right time. Ace of Pentacles. But this is going to lead to a commitment. Yeah, Queen of Cups. So you're going to be opening your heart again, Leo, or you are actually destined, for my masculines, to be with a Queen of Cups, a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Last card, please. Nine of Pentacles. So, whoever this is, this is someone single. This is someone sat in a very stable energy. This is your person, Leo. The Nine of Pentacles can be depicting a masculine as well. It's just the image that might make some of you feel it's feminine, but it could be the other way around. Wow. This is really beautiful. So we've got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So Leo, even though you're going to feel really disappointed, really heartbroken that something didn't work out, the other person is still in love with you, but they are going to stay in a karmic connection. The Divine is bringing in somebody else who is abundant, somebody stable, somebody who is single and somebody who wants to be with you. So Leo, that's a beautiful reading for you guys. All right, now moving on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oh, you're disappointed, Saggy. Yeah, death card in the reverse. You may have been trying to work on a connection. It might have been with a Scorpio, but there's been just no transformation of that situation at all. You may be feeling as if you have to give up the ghost. Okay, lovers in reverse. So, Sag, we could be looking at a situation here where somebody cheated on you. Could have been a Gemini. You just don't know if you want this back. It's as if the trust is gone. There's no way that this is going to work out. Yeah, page of swords. You guys are communicating, but it's very cold, harsh communication. There's no love there. What's happening here for Sag? Oh, guys. What's happening here for Sag? Yeah, four of swords. It's a difficult situation. You're thinking about what to do. Do I totally walk away from this? Do I keep hold of it with a hope that things are going to change? I don't think things are going to change. Sag, I'd love to say they are. I don't think they are. Knight of Wands in reverse. Sag, you were dealing with somebody who was sitting in a little bit of off and on energy. Rushing in, rushing out. It could be Sagittarius, you were dealing with somebody who was simply too young to commit to you fully. You may have wanted this person to commit to you and they just didn't have it in them. They may have just wanted to play the field a bit longer. Or you two were in a relationship and you found out this person was messing around with someone else. You've been waiting for their energy to change, but it hasn't changed, Sag. And I think you're wondering, should you just let it go? Because it's almost as if you're thinking, I'm on a hiding to nothing. 
you know? It's not going anywhere. What is on Sagittarius's mind? Yeah. Sag, this has been difficult for you. You have been trying to hang on to this connection, but I think the divine is saying, let it go. All right. Yeah, two of pentacles being in your head about this. Do I, don't I? For some of you, Sagittarius, if this was some kind of long distance connection, it wasn't working out. It wasn't working out. You two didn't see each other enough for this to really cement into a serious relationship. They could have been juggling you with somebody else also in their area. Justice in the reverse. Libra energy. You may have realised this person isn't ready to commit. And it put you in a very unbalanced, unjust situation. Yeah, you can't get this person to step up. Magician in the reverse. There could have been some manipulation or you simply felt you couldn't manifest commitment out of this person. Yeah, very difficult. Very difficult, guys. The fool. So you could have dealt simply with an Aries who wasn't ready to settle down. Or you felt this person was sat in childish energy. You know, they wanted to be young, friends, single. They didn't really want a relationship. There could have been a lot of attraction between the two of you, which made you both really want to keep this going. But I just think you're realising you have to cut your losses. You have to cut your losses. You can't do this anymore. Yeah, nine of wands. Sag, you're deciding you have to let this go. This is somebody who, bless them, no disrespect, disrespect to anyone out there, they're simply immature. This is somebody who was very happy playing the field. They are really attracted to you, Sagittarius, but they don't want to commit. And I think you're seeing the truth. Yeah. Hangman, you're seeing the truth. You're getting a wake-up call that you could be waiting for the next five years for this person to be ready to settle down. They're not ready. They may never be. Some people just are not comfortable with long-term commitment. You know? You could be releasing a Pisces. Yeah, whatever this is, you're just deciding this is not working for you. It's not working for you. Yeah, you're seeing the truth. This is somebody who was sitting in page energy. Again, they may just be much younger than you, but this is someone who is just not ready for a serious connection. Yeah, wheel of fortune in the reverse. What you're thinking about, Sagittarius, is I'm just stuck. I'm stuck in a connection with somebody who... Very simply, I'm never going to be moving forward into a proper commitment with. So I'm going to let it go. I think you're going to do that. Okay. Two of cups in reverse. Yeah, Sag, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough because you thought this was your person. You thought, yeah, I'm going to wait until they're ready. Maybe a couple more years. They'll be ready to commit. Yeah, no. Sag, this person is not ready to sit in that very serious committed energy. You two did share a past life, very strong soul bond, but this was not your person. What is going to happen for Saji? Yeah, three of swords. Okay, guys, I know this is rough. You're going to have to heal. This is going to be a bit heartbreaking. But this is what you're realising. This person is simply not ready. The devil. Be careful you don't sit in obsessed energy about this. For some of you, you're heartbroken because you really wanted to be with a Capricorn. It's not working out. What is going to happen in the future for my Sagittarius, for my Sagittarians? You're going to walk away. You're going to embrace change. Okay. This is you realising that sitting in the situation for the next two, three, four, five years is not helping anyone. They may feel, you know, as if you're pressuring them into commitment. You may feel stuck that this is not moving into something more stable and you're upset about that. You're both not on the same page. What is going to happen for Sagittarius in the future? Ten of Wands. So, Serge, you are going to let this go. You may get to 
the Ten of Wands, as in you may hang on a little bit longer for this person to step up. I honestly don't think they're going to. I think that you are eventually going to let this go and realise that you're supposed to be with someone else. star so you could be letting go of the hope of being with an Aquarius or the divine is saying heal once you've healed Sagittarius the right person's going to come in for you but you need to let this person go so the divine feels as if there's space to bring in someone new Who is this new person? Do we have an indication, Michael? Thank you. King of Cups in the reverse could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio that expresses that they have feelings for you. Could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. But this is someone ready for marriage. This is somebody ready to commit. This is somebody stable and in King energy, not page energy, Sag. You know? Now, if you're a masculine, you are sitting in the King of Cups in the reverse and the King of Pentacles energy. You are ready to commit. And it could well be that this is you moving forward towards somebody that you know is on the same page as you. OK, so Sag, it's going to happen for you, but you have to let go of the other situation. It's not serving you. All right, moving into a fresh deck for Aries. Aries. Oh, Aries, there are issues here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't actually feel this is marriage. I don't think someone's married and the other person is upset about that. I think this is to do with differences in culture and religion. I think that you, Aries, wanted to come together with someone but there was a big difference in your backgrounds. Maybe you were two very different religions and family disapproved. There were problems here. Yeah, this was really difficult. It was like a, I'm hearing an uphill battle to try and keep this together. It just, just wasn't working out. There may have been a few arguments relating to someone wanting the other person to change their religion. You know, the other person didn't really want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Ten of Cups in reverse. Aries, you really wanted this to work out. You really thought this was your person with a Ten of Cups, but family disapproved. And this is you feeling it's never going to work out. It's never going to work out. Oh, Aries. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Aries... It could be that you were dealing with a Queen of Swords in the reverse. Who maybe felt angry and upset that you said to this person, I'm sorry, it's not going to work out. My family disapproves of this. What was on Aries' mind? Yeah, Nine of Wands. Guys, this was you struggling. You were trying to hang on to a connection, possibly with an air sign female, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But you had to let it go. You had to let it go. Yeah, six of wands in reverse. You were trying to make out as if everything was fine. You were trying to make out as if nobody really cares. Yeah, the mask came off. There may have been a conversation about moving in together, getting married... I think everything came to lie, Aries. You had to tell this woman. Now, remember, guys, this could be switched. But you had to tell this person that it wasn't possible to marry them because of the difference in religions. You would have had to have separated totally from your family or she would have to separate totally from her family and for you two to cause a lot of upset in both individual situations. And what you realised, Aries, was no matter how much I want to be with this person, I can't do it to my family. Now, everybody has opinions about that. 
Surely the family in this day and age would agree, well, some people don't. Some religions are very, very strict. You do not marry outside of your religion. And this was a problem. So Aries, this was tough, really tough. Yeah, the chariot. So one of you could have been thinking about moving. You know, do we literally elope? Do we just move to a different area and do this and be together? There could have been a situation with a Cancerian here. It was very painful, but Aries, I think you had to let this go. You had to let this go. There were a lot of issues in this situation and you just felt as if it was an uphill battle. Yeah, yeah, two of wands in reverse. I think you waited at crossroads for quite a while thinking as to whether or not you had the courage to leave a family dynamic. But I think you realised it was easier to move on and let this go, even though it was difficult. Yeah, oh, the tower. You had to bring in the tower to someone and admit the truth. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, there could be something here about you being cut out of a will, okay, if you married this person. And you would have lost thousands. I don't know. But this was very challenging. Yeah, you had no choice but to hold back with a strength card. You had no choice. Yeah. But it was stressful for you. Ten of Wands. It was really stressful. You could have wanted to have been with a Leo. But it was way too much burden. When you first met, it was all lovely and casual and very romantic and passionate. Let's spend time together. But when it came down to, is this going to move into marriage? I think, Aries, you realised that due to the differences between the two of you, this was never going to work out. So you're letting this go, okay? You're letting this go. You don't want to, but I think you feel it's for the best. You don't want to upset your family. You don't want your family to cut off from you. It's a very difficult situation. And it's a very sensitive topic too, guys, you know. You can't disrespect your parents. You have to understand their point of view. Yeah, seven of wands. There might have been a lot of defensive conversations with parents, with family. This could be you, Aries, wanting to stand your ground. But eventually you had to speak the truth. The mask came off. I'm sorry, I, I can't marry you because you're not of my religion. And this was very painful. So what's going to happen here for my Aries? What is going to happen in the future? Okay, Aries, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ten of Swords. You could have felt very upset at your family because they didn't approve of this. It could be that you know you broke somebody's heart and then you shifted into the Ten of Swords. What's going to happen here? Yeah, three of wands in the reverse. You're no longer waiting for your ship to come in. It's done, Aries. The divine is suggesting you move on. You move on. Yeah. So what's going to happen for Aries in the future? Who's coming in for Aries in the future? Who's coming in for Aries in the future? Temperance in the reverse. You're still going to feel a bit emotional, Aries, but you may be connecting with a Sagittarius. Yeah. I think there was a lot of disappointment that this wasn't going to work out. 
the sun. Leo. It could well be, Aries, that this is you realising that there would be a lot of happiness with somebody of your religion because they understand it. They understand the rules of that culture, of that religion. They're comfortable with it. They know all about it. They've been brought up with that same religion. So this is you realising this could work. Wow. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Aries, you're going to give this a go because this is somebody of the same religion. And even though you're still feeling raw because you really wanted to be with that other person, your family's happy. It may be that you know that if you move forward and you get married, your parents will meet their parents and they'll be, you know, enjoying religious holidays together because you're all of the same religion. It's just going to be easier. This person's going to slot into your life very smoothly. And this is what you're realising. And Aries, you're going for it with the energy of the fool. This is beautiful. You're quite excited about this. So yes, you didn't get to be with a person that you maybe fell in love with. But this is someone that makes your parents happy. You get on with their parents. This is someone you are very attracted to. And you're going to take that leap of faith and a risk. You're going to do it, Aries. This is perfect for you. This is perfect for you. Do we have a final card for my lovely Aries? Ace of Cups. I think this is going to work out, Aries. I think this is going to be a new relationship. It may start off as attraction, which is then going to grow into love. I think you're going to end up marrying this person. I do. Good <laughs> justice. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be a legal contract. Okay. Could be with a Libra. But I think this is lovely, Aries. This is exactly what you needed because you have struggled with this other connection. And I think what you're realizing is, yes, it would have been wonderful to be together, but it would have caused a lot of problems over the years going forward, you know? So this is you realizing that, accepting it, letting the past go and meeting somebody else. All right, guys, moving to messages. We're going to start off with, of course, my beautiful Leos. What does this person want to say to Leo, Michael? Okay. So Leo, fights, arguments, conflicts, somebody here didn't want to end another situation. And I think this has been painful. Any more messages, Michael? Yeah. Leo, whether or not this is you, sorry, or your person, Crosswatcher, somebody here is really sorry that they didn't have the courage to make the change they needed to make to be with the other person. All right, Sagittarius. What message do we have from Saji's person? Twin flame. Now this was difficult, guys, because it could be, Sag, that you met your true divine twin. But this is somebody who might have been not ready to commit in the 3D. Somebody who also lived a distance away. And even though the pull was really strong with this person... Sagittarius, I think you are going to let them go. You're just not waiting anymore. Yeah. Sag, you'll never forget this person or vice versa, okay? There will always be that 5D connection. But what you're realising is it's never going to work in this lifetime. So you're letting it go. Michael wants another one for some reason. Yeah, now that's very interesting. This was a long distance connection. I thought so. Yeah, so sadly, Sagittarius, two people fell in love. Somebody was at a distance. It wasn't working out. Someone was too immature. They weren't ready. And I think Sagittarius, you're letting this go. Okay, Aries. What do we have for Aries, please, Michael? This is religion. I'm sure that is culture. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Friends or family disapprove of this connection. Yeah, that was the root of the issue. You two just couldn't get on the same page. It was really difficult. But I think 
even though this person was a soulmate, you're going to move forward with somebody else, Aries, and it's just going to be an easier connection. It's just going to be an easier connection. Okay? So, people, I'm leaving it there. I hope that's helped you. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way. And many blessings. Bye, guys.